Hi, this is Nick from Rover Robotics. Today I'll be showing you how to assemble your starter kit. You'll need a flathead screwdriver. We recommend having double-sided tape or Velcro for securing electronics and zip ties for cable management. First find your interface board. It'll look like this and plug it into the payload port that says 1. Next attach the four standoffs, two at the front of the robot, and two in the third to the last hole on the back of the robot. Then find your USB cable, plug the A side into the interface board, that'll provide power to the Raspberry Pi. Then find your USB cable, plug the small end into the interface board. That'll go into port P5. Next attach the plate. You'll need to feed the cables through one of the holes. And then use the four screws and your Phillips screwdriver to attach the plate. Next mount the Raspberry Pi using Velcro or double-sided tape. Plug the power cable into the front. Plug the USB cable into any one of the four USB ports. Next find the Xbox 360 dongle. It'll look like this. Plug it into any one of the USB ports on the Raspberry Pi. You'll notice there's one cable that we didn't use. It's a 16 volt power cable for plugging into the interface board. Since we're drawing power from the USB cable at five volts for the Raspberry Pi, we won't need that. Next, plug the battery into the robot. To do this, you'll have to take off the right side tire. Open the battery hatch. Insert the battery. Close the battery hatch. Then you can put it back on the wheel. When you put the wheel back on, make sure the metal pins fully engage with the plastic inner piece. You should hear the fan of the robot start to spin up. That means it's powering on. You should also see a green LED light up on the interface board. And you should see a green LED blinking on the Raspberry Pi, as well as a red LED. Once the Raspberry Pi has fully booted up, you can pair the Xbox controller. To do that, you'll want to turn the Xbox controller on by holding the center button. You're going to want to hold the button on the Xbox 360 dongle until you see the LED flashing. Then you're going to want to hold the sync button on the top of the Xbox 360 controller until that starts flashing as well. And then it should turn solid on the player one bar. Once it does that, you're ready to drive around.